Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cover, I am Penge and welcome back to Academia School Simulator where of course we are back at the very lovely Cover College and last time out we welcomed two new staff members to the school. One of them was the brilliantly named Lavetta Justice, which I think is a wonderful name. So she is our lawyer, she was much requested, a lawyer was much requested by people in the comments. So we built the lawyer's office over here, it's got his own little sort of office over here with a window, she's got natural light and everything so we have very much spoiled her but there she is in the corridor going to read a folder sounds really exciting that sounds thrilling you absolutely go and knock yourself out with that but yeah i just think her name is brilliant lavetta justice she just lavetta's a bit of justice because she's a lawyer so yes we got her on board and also we got the slightly less exciting name but you know no less important uh Maita, possibly myrta oyen who is the vice principal so she is there to help out the doctor in that moment i've just realized that the doctor now has an assistant <laughs> which which does does seem very appropriate indeed. So now they can go off on time traveling adventures together. There we go, that'll be fun. So we've got the vice principal in as well. I'm not entirely sure with a school of this size, whether the vice principal is really doing too much. Because I think with 178 students, I don't think she's going to be doing too much work. I think they're more used when the school is massive, because then you could have two lots of students being disciplined at the same time and all that kind of stuff. But whatever the case, they are in. So we have a vice principal and we have a lawyer. So to go with, obviously, the principal and then the, the also fantastic name, Sir Salty Simon, the accountant, we've kind of got the full complement of administrative kind of functions over here down in this little bit of the school. So there we go. So they're all in. And we also did put in quite a few of these money saving things. These are our motorized pumps. So it costs a bit of electric per day, but they save us $100 on water a day. So yeah, we pay a bit to get them actually set up. But once they're in, they are saving us some money. And this concreted area here is going to be for the rest of all of our things that are going to you know, generate electric and generate water and bring our bill down which is very very lovely indeed and um and also we carried on working over here and we got this common area in over here which is quite useful because um yeah current previously the the common area was only over here and it was being a little bit kind of overloaded it was being overloaded with many many students so yes we've got another common area set up over here now which is very very lovely we did have a problem last time with students leaving we've lost quite a lot of students i think did we start with 198 and now we're down to 178, or have I made that up? I'm not entirely sure, but we have lost quite a number of students, um, which is which is not great. It brings our daily sort of uh, income down a little bit. We are on day seven, however, so it's not too bad. We're still earning 10 grand. Um, but yes, yeah, some of them were leaving because of a perceived lack of food, although I'm not entirely entirely sure that's correct. And, um, and some left to go and join our evil nemesis rival school. The, they're obviously baddies, the Intelligence Institute, the evil sounding intelligence institute so uh, so yes we have lost a few students which is a bit of a shame and that will go against us at the end of the year so that's not particularly great so i think what we'll do now is we'll just keep sort of running time on we haven't got any money to do anything with right now really it is coming to the end of day seven so it might be prudent just to sort of run it through to the end of year eight and uh, nine no not year eight and nine that would be <laughs> that would be running it on um, days eight and nine of year five and then just seeing what happens at the end of the year. And then we can come back with a load more money because we'll have saved money from a couple of days worth of sort of uh, savings there. And then come back and just see what we can do. I mean, maybe we could start building some of this up. Maybe we could do some other bits and bobs as well. It has been suggested that maybe maybe we need to get another cafeteria in. Um, it was initially suggested in the comments that we put the cafeteria up here. But then, yes, I put a common area up here. So that's not going to happen. I mean, I don't think we'd fit much of a cafeteria in there. I don't think that's really big enough just here. So maybe we need to look at getting the buy land thing unlocked. Do you know what, actually, when it rolls around to the next day, when it gets to day eight and we've been paid, let's have a look at where buy land is in the research structure and how expensive it is. Okay, buy land is just there. It is something that we can get to, so it requires lawyer up to be researched. Uh, so we can do it. It is 10 grand, however. 10 grand just to have the luxury of being able to buy the land. That doesn't buy us any land. It's just the option to actually have that available. That's quite expensive. That's a lot of money right there. I mean, I'd rather invest some of our money in other things that are going to help us right now, like the microfiber mops that, uh, that the janitors turned down last time because they had a tiny little bit of a rebellion there about wages. Um, but yes, we could get them this. 
increases the cleaning speed by 100%. That sounds like a good thing. But another thing we could do, we could start investing in this here to get good teachers or better teachers. I mean, there's plenty of stuff we could do, but at some point we are going to need some more land to build on. We are going to need some more land. I mean, there's so many good things. There's so many good things. I mean, at some point we are going to have to get this done. We're going to have to get uh, experimentation research done so we can get the science, you know, labs and computer labs and whatever in. So yeah, it's it's yeah. There's there's a lot of things we could do with researching. We don't have all the money to do so. Um, I mean, yeah. Do we want to save this and just go on a great big building project at the end of the year? Do you know what? Yes, that's exactly what we will do. We'll just sit and wait. Let Let's go and see what happens with this. Oh dear. Oh dear. That that did not go well, did it, Eric? I feel, I feel for you. I can't see what her name is. What is it? Mozella Eamon. Uh, she, she has very much said no to Eric. And Eric is now... He, <laughs> he's an aggressive bookworm. I'm, I'm really reading this book really angrily. I don't know how you can be an aggressive bookworm, but there you go. A smoker has been caught. Van Dyers. There you go. You are going to the principal's office. Oh, straight to the principal's office. And I see Hector is trying to work his magic on Fabian Mushik who is receiving some counselling. How many troublesome kids have we got? Only three. That's pretty good. So out of the 178 students, we only have three troublesome ones so far. Let's have a little look at delinquency. Do we need to do anything with these? Are they all being... Yep, you can go to counselling. You... Oh, you have not quite been caught yet. Okie dokie, there's a bully that's not been caught yet. And the uh, rowdy one is already in counselling. Marvellous. Um, yeah, okay. Let's just run it on then. Another smoker has been caught. Another one... Get the hint now. Come on, yep, you're being told off as well. Oh, hang on. That was Van Dyers. That was the same one. That was the same one. Oh, now, hang on a minute. Now we've got rowdy students. Are they the same students? Yes. Oh, okay, fine. We haven't got any more troublemakers. Oh, no, that's good. We've just got the same rowdy student as being an absolute pain in the backside. Okay, fine. I'm sure Hector will work his magic and, you know, sort them out before too long. Okay, right, mixed messages here. So one student's been set straight by counselling. Hooray. However, Boyd Luzar has left to go to the Evil Intelligence Institute. They've brainwashed another one of them. Oh, dearie me. That's never good, is it? Okay, right, fine. We've lost another student. I mean, he's getting toward the end of the year. So, you know, let's hope that he was really rubbish. Let's hope that Boyd, whatever his name was, was really terrible. And we haven't lost anybody that was going to be, you know, a superstar pupil. Maybe he was just really rubbish and he's gone over to there. I do not know. But there we go another one bites the dust down to 177 kids now it's a random event we'll accept the random event parents are complaining that a popular language teacher is not sticking to the curriculum and is encouraging students to challenge authority okay this is interesting number one fire the teacher so we'd lose a teacher which we know is expensive to replace anyway because this has happened numerous times and there is a 60 percent chance that three students become truants Okay, or a teacher like this should be encouraged. There is a 60% chance that we lose 15 of our prestige, but we get plus five to language for all students. But I don't want to lose the teacher, and there's only a 60% chance that this stuff happens. So I would rather choose this and just hope for the best. I like the way this teacher has stood on the table. <laughs> He just stood at the table, flailing his arms around like a lunatic. Um, yeah, let's go for that, shall we? Let's see what happens. And okay, right. There we go. The rogue teacher's methods are surprisingly effective. Standing on the desk does do that. But some parents are still unhappy. So the 60% chance did kick in. So we have had a minus 15 uh, prestige penalty, but we have got plus five to language for all of our students. Okay, that's interesting. So we've had a great big language boost for every single student in the school, even if they might not necessarily teach them. But there we go. But we did lose 15 prestige which is a bit of an annoyance because, yes, prestige is relatively hard to come by. Hopefully at the end of the year, we'll get quite a lot of prestige from having you know, a tidy school, it being all clean and all that kind of stuff. I mean, it doesn't look too... It doesn't look too grubby anymore. There's occasional bits of dirt, which I imagine are going to get dealt with. Do you, 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 just, you just ignore that dirt there. Your one job is to clean dirt and you're just walking past it. Are you going to get coffee? Oh, that's absolutely fine. Yeah, you crack on. You go and do that. That's very important. Oh, do you know one thing we could do? One thing we could do, and this was suggested in the comments, somebody said, are there not great big, like, you know, sort of trash bins outside in the um, sort of garbage area? You have to research them. You have to research the trash dumpster. It's only three grand. Shall we just do that? Shall we just get a trash dumpster in? Just because I feel like it would kind of complete that bit quite nicely, because then we'll have a proper bit just here. Um, and also, we could do... 
with just putting grass down on the outside bit just here because there's we've got a fence but um but yeah there's still the horrible sort of mud sort of stuff underneath it so we could spend a little bit of our money even though i said i was going to save all the money i'm now not going to save the money um we could do with just putting grass underneath all of those bits there. There we go. Look, just a little bit of grass. That also gives our build guys something to do because they're not doing anything at the minute. They're just sitting about doing absolutely nothing. So yeah, we'll get them to you know, get a little bit busy. And then also, yes, that does remove some of the unpleasant sort of mud grot flooring. Okay, so day nine has begun and the builders have finished all the work on putting the grass over here, which is lovely. And even with that research, oh, that research is now complete. That's quite good. Even with that research done and us spending a little bit of money on putting this grass over here, we still do have 18,107 monies. Oh no, Otis Ayala has left our school to go to the Intelligence Institute. <laughs> Another one brainwashed. Um, let's get ourselves then. As the final thing we can do, let's get ourselves the um, the sort of dumpster thing over there. Now, would it be in objects? I assume it would be. If I just type duh, there you go, trash dumpster. Um, they're only 135, so let's put let's put one there and one there next to it. There we go. And actually, do you know what we will do? Whilst we wait here, we've got these four vending machines here. They've been there for they've been there since the start, I think, haven't they? They were one of the initial kind of grants that we got. It might make sense now, given that the students are complaining about a perceived lack of food. Maybe we should take out some of these and then put some new ones into the common areas. Just sort of put them over here to spread out the food availability, particularly up here as well. So I don't really think we need four of these right down here. So let's get rid of Let's get rid of that one and that one. We'll leave two. We'll leave two down there so someone can come along and we'll sell those, which is lovely. There we go. And then if we go into there and then find vending machines, uh, let's put one um, there. Oh, no, that's a terrible place for it. We could do with it going there, really, but then there's a trash bin there. Do you know what? There's a trash bin there and one there. I don't know if we necessarily need three trash bins in that area. So we'll sell that bin and we'll put the vending machine just there if somebody could get on that pronto thank you right okay so then get the vending machine in pop that just there so that's one over there which is good that's okay and then i think we want a couple over here so if we then rotate that round maybe we have a couple over here maybe next to the doors to the blue like that so yeah, there we go. So a couple of vending machines up here, just so the kids from this common room can go and get some food from the vending machines over here. And in they go. Lovely, lovely. Do you know what we could... Do we want to spend money on some toilets right now? We do need to complete this bathroom. This bathroom does need to be complete. So we could spend our money now, but then that would bring our money down for the rest of the time, wouldn't it? Uh, there's a bullying incident. We don't want any bullying. He's just washing his hands. That's fine. That's fine, isn't it? Let's check actually what's going on with this. Smokers, yep, send them all to counselling, please. The bully hasn't been caught yet. That's unfortunate. And um, Joe, you know what? That's fine. We'll leave the toilet for now. We'll make sure that we get this sorted before the start of year six. But yeah, look, this common area looks pretty busy. It's looking relatively busy, which is quite encouraging. So that's quite nice. Yeah, look, and this toilet is not completely overloaded at the minute. It's busy, but it's not, you know, there's not people sort of coming in and not being able to find a sink or a toilet or whatever. So, yeah, okay, I'm happy with that. And Sol Ibar has dropped out because they were not able to eat food. Um, Joe Wigley, yeah, you are actually hungry. You're an arrogant dog person. Okay, fine. And we weren't serving dog food, but okie doke. So, yeah, you are lacking food a little bit. I'll give you that. And you are hungry. But again, I'm not entirely sure... Kind of what the problem is. You've just walked through the middle of the cafeteria to get out of the school. There's a cafeteria just here, a bustling, busy cafeteria with many, many things. There <laughs> are many things here. So, um, yeah, I, I wonder if that is a little bit of a bug or something strange. Some people have said we should put some more fridges in. Do you know what? Let's do that, actually. Let's put another fridge in because there's only two fridges to store food right now. So I wonder if, I mean, they look full. Those things look stocked. All four of our food counters do look stocked. Um, do you know what? Let's pop another fridge in anyway. Let's find a fridge. Let's put a refrigerator in and put it... We'll put it there because there's a nice suitable gap just there. So that will do the job quite nicely. And that won't kick in today unless, it, unless it's full of food. When it arrives, actually, it, is, it has got food in it, hasn't it? There we go. It's got lots of lovely food inside it. But yeah, look, these things are still well stocked. 
even though it's half two in the afternoon, these are not empty of food. They are not bereft of lovely, delicious items. So, yeah. Yeah, I, I don't know if the food thing is just a bit of a bug or it's a weird way that they can't get food because they're up here all the time and that's too far away or something. I don't know. I do not know. But here we go. Right, let's just roll it on to the end of day nine and then we'll see how well they do in their exams. They're looking very good indeed. Look at that. I mean, the lowest is science and then PE and then math. Science, I guess, would be the lowest. Hooray! A student's been set straight by a student labour that I wasn't aware we were doing, but there we go. And yes, yeah, science, it makes sense to be the lowest because we haven't got the specialist science rooms in. We haven't got the labs in. Um, although we haven't got the computer labs in, which I think help with math. And that is, that's relatively high. Maybe we just got a terrible science teacher. I do not know. But right, let's move it on to the end of the year. And I'm I'm pretty confident, I'll be honest, with how the exams are going to go. I think we'll be okay. The school year has ended. The final exams are currently ongoing. And let's see how we did. Right, we were 500 and some things. If we've gone up into the 400s, I would be happy with that. That is very good. I thought it might be the high 400, but no, the low 400. That is wonderful. Now, where are the Intelligence Institute? They have been one step ahead of us pretty much the entire time. I imagine they're going to be ahead of us again, are they? They are, where are they? Rival rank is 430. Ha 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 ha! They're 438. Take that, Intelligence Institute. <laughs> Not so intelligent now, are you? The mighty cupboard college has defeated you. Oh, look at that. That is brilliant. Okay, so how did we do? Oh my goodness me. Oh my word. Look at this. Passing rate, A. 50 prestige. Loads of money. Cleanliness, A. How far we have come in our cleanliness. That is wonderful. So yeah, we get 30 prestige for that and a big pile of money. Delinquency B. Again, that's pretty good given we've had you know quite a lot of troublemakers in. So yeah, we've sorted that out. We've got a grand for that. And graduate pedigree. That is brilliant as well. Um, yeah, and the passing rate, 91%. So the freshmen... Let's have a look at the exam results, actually. So um, yeah, so let's have a look. So freshmen, two dropped out. But everybody else that took one passed. Is that right? Yeah, okay, so classroom five and classroom one. So everybody in the freshman that actually took an exam passed. Is that right? And that counts, does that count as a failure? I assume that counts as a failure because they've left. So yes, they didn't take their exam, so therefore they failed them. Seems a bit harsh. Um, the sophomores, everybody passed again. So everybody that was here actually passed. Um, juniors, everybody passed, apart from the one that left. No, did everybody pass? Oh my goodness me. <laughs> Everybody that took an exam, everybody that remained in the school, passed. Well, there you go, Intelligence Institute. We've, we've absolutely shown you up there. I, all the people that left, are they feeling a bit silly now? Like Eric Cipher. Do you feel a bit of a wally? Because everybody has passed. We had 17 dropouts, but no failures at all. Not one single failure. That is absolutely remarkable. Desmond Bayan did really, really well past all of them. Oh my goodness me, you failed one. That's history, that's probably fine. I mean, you, everyone can, every, not everyone can be good at everything. Except maybe, I don't know, you, you seem quite good at everything, Noreen. And then, yeah, you're not very good at science, that's fine. Science, I, Joe, I was never very good at science either, it's fine, I'll let you off that one. Oh my word. Okay, that is brilliant. That is really, really good. I'm very, very impressed. We're going to get seven grand now to go into the build phase, which is wonderful. So here we go. We might as well just get on with it now. Um, so, yep, so we'll go into the build phase. We are ahead of the Intelligence Institute. So, ah, <laughs> there you go. Take that. I still think there should be a mechanic where students might want to join us from them. Because at the moment, we our students just leave to go to the Intelligence Institute. Why don't people from the Intelligence Institute come here thinking, hey, that cup of college, I've heard it's pretty good. I don't know why that doesn't happen. Uh, right, let's sort the admissions out first. Now... For a bit of money, do we want to do one of these? So do we want to take 10 freshman bullies or 10 freshman truants? I think, uh, let's take the truants, shall we? We'll take the truants and we will invest in another, another monitor to go and sort of, you know, scour the school and make sure that people are where they should be. And it was pointed out in the comments, I believe it was a teacher, and they said uh, something along the lines of, you can be a truant, but still be in a class just not the class you're supposed to be in. I've never really considered that before. So you might think, do you know what? I hate that. I hate English. It's rubbish. Um, so I will go and hang out with my friends in science. Right. Okay. Bye.
So you can be sat in the class and the teacher, you know, I don't know, the teacher should be aware, but they might not be if you're just sort of quietly just sitting there. So, yeah, I never considered that as a thing. But there we go. So, yeah, somebody pointed that out in the comments. So thank you very much. I, I never considered it. Let's do this. Let's accept 10 truants to go into the freshman year. That gives us five grand up front. So we just get an extra five grand. So we'll have about 30 grand to play with. Wow. OK, yeah, we'll take that, please. So we're going to have 10 extra students in already. So 10 are coming in. So what have we got? So that's all we've got. So we want to make sure that we have... 48 students in each year that's what we want so 48 like that and four more of those and a few more of those and only one more senior okay oh no hang on we want a couple more of those there we go so 48 in each year it was 192 not 198 okay so we didn't lose quite that many students then um but there we go so yeah so we've got plenty of students coming in that gives us the same amount of money that we had before but yeah we're still saving quite a lot and doing lots of lovely things with it so there we go so we've got the admissions sorted and now we've got 30 grand to play with. Um, okay, where do we start with 30 grand? I don't know, but we can get even more money and prestige. This is very silly indeed. So trash management is a grant that I was entirely oblivious to. But look, so we can get three grand advance, which I think pays for the research that we uh, had to invest in to get the dumpsters in. And it requires us to just put down two dumpsters. We've already got that done. Look, it's all ticked off. So we'll get our three grand back plus 500 money you also return plus five prestige, which again, is not, not brilliant, but it's better than nothing at all. So we'll take that. Thank you very much. And then here we've got statuesque. We can get 100 prestige. We're just placing two statues. Now, how expensive are the statues? I do not know. Oh, they're not in there. Are they, are they in here? Yeah, so the male statue and the female statue. Okay, so it's going to take four grand four grand to actually place them but it does get us 100 prestige and i've now typed stwa into the search bit um so i mean i think they should go up here somewhere i feel that like they should go up here we we're going to put the flagpole in here and some fountains a few people have said this could become an outside common area the only weird thing about the common areas is that to make it a valid common area you do need a table and chairs which is a little bit of a weird thing to stick in this nice area but what we'll do is I think we'll work on this area just here. So let's let's put that wall in. We'll get this sort of wall in. I mean, it's going to look a bit weird. It's going to look a bit weird because the wall is going to go nowhere. But a nice wooden wall going across there and up like that for now will do the job quite nicely. And then we want to get some nice sort of uh, fencing going on, something that looks really nice. Or do we just put like flower planter type things around? Lots of those lovely planter things around in these grassy areas. And then this here... Yeah, let's zone that out as a common area. So common area, where would that be? It's not, no, it's not a classroom. Special rooms, there we go. You think I'd know. <laughs> Third series of Academia. How many hours have we played? I don't remember where that is. So if we do that as the actual common area, in fact, can we drag it out to there? Yeah, there we go. So that can become a common area. And then in here, we can put some fountains. We can put a flagpole in the middle. So I think maybe... Maybe we'll have some fountains across the back, the statues, and the flagpole over here. I mean, this is all. We don't need any of this stuff, but I, I want to make the outside look nice. So <laughs> there, they can come here and enjoy this outside area. So yeah, let's get ourselves the... Uh, where would it be then? So yeah, they're out here, weren't they? So the statues. So the male statue can go... Oh, they're only one square. I thought they were, I thought they were like a sort of two by two grid type of thing, but no, okay. Um, let's get... Actually, can we get a fountain first? fountain i feel like we need two fountains and i want to put some trees in the corners as well to make it look pretty so we'll have a fountain say there and then a fountain there that's two away from the edge isn't it hang on i think we need to do the edge bit first we need to do the outside so i know what's going on so this is where people are going to come in so i've got these areas where they can walk in so how about yeah let's put some of the little planter things down i like those rather than having a fence that might make it look a little bit unwelcoming we'll put some lovely Lovely plant things down. Um, so yeah, let's put... I mean, we're near the wood building. So let's get the wood flower planters and then just the wood planters. So we'll sort of alternate these round. So we'll have ourselves um, one there and one there. And then one there and one there. And then we'll get the wood planters to fill in the gaps. Then we'll have ourselves another wood planter there. Then we'll have flower, flower and wood planter. And then flower, 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 and then wood, 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 and then wood, and then flower planter. Okay, lovely. So the, the edges of that are in. 
So it's going to look nice, nice sort of friendly area there with lots of plants around it, which is lovely. And then, yeah, then we'll get another fountain then that can sit just there. Then we'll get some statues. So we'll put a male statue just there and a female statue just there. And then, yeah, maybe we can put the flagpole just here. Can we get a nice tree in the background there? Can we get a nice tree? It's known there's a gap of three there, unless we put down three bushes. Uh, yeah, an azalea bush, an azalea bush, and a hydrangea bush, because because why not? And then over here, is this where the flagpole is? Yes. So then if we put the flagpole just there, you've kind of got this sort of fancy pants area just here with fountains and things. And then we need something in the corner. We need something in these corners. That's where we could put the nice trees. Sakura trees, they look pretty. Can we have one of those there and one of those there? And then we need the builder guys to build all this, because then... Uh, they, if we build in the tree there, they won't be able to reach the one at the back and they'll get all confused. So, uh, so, yeah, there we go. Right, so we'll also apply for that. Thank you very much. So it won't be too long, I don't think, until they actually get all this stuff done. I like the way they've just left that hole in the wall there. They've <laughs> just decided to just not do that bit. Okie dokie. We'll come back and do that later, shall we? Right, so you're putting all the other bits in and we've unlocked the Let the Sunshine In grant. Place windows and place big windows. Okay. Yeah, we can absolutely do that. So let's get some windows in, shall we? This should be nice and straightforward. So we just need regular windows. Okay, well, let's put some, um, let's put some, yeah, let's not put any near the staff loo. That would be a bit weird. <laughs> that would be odd. How about a window? Yeah, Hector doesn't have any windows. Poor Hector, doing all this work. He doesn't have any windows. So we'll put one there and one there. So that's a couple of windows for Hector. Does anybody else want any windows? We're going to change all that soon anyway. They've got a window. So yeah, these ones here don't have any windows. So how about the art room gets one and two and three windows. There we go. So that should, yeah, look, that's already done. So that gets us another bit of money and a bit of prestige. So yes, we'll have that. Gender neutral toilets, I think we've already got that. Yeah, that's already done. So we get some money for that, which is lovely. We are absolutely flying through the grants. This is wonderful. And look at this. Oh, it's got the correct flag for the country. <laughs> Yay. Oh, it's very patriotic. I, I hope you're all saluting. Yes, for the Queen. Oh, look at that. That is brilliant. I do like that. That looks very, very silly. Right. Why have they not done that bit of wall? I do not know. Do you know what? Let's just... Uh, Let's get the wall back in, shall we? Build a wall. Oh, I like the fact that the flag is the correct flag. That's brilliant. I do like that. Um, and then, yeah, this common area. I mean, do we want to put... The chairs, we're going to have to pretend that the chairs in it are not uh, not like you know, inside tables and chairs. They're going to be like, you know, picnic tables and things like that. We're going to have to use sort of use our imagination a little bit for that one. Um, so, yeah, so let's go to common area. So get a table. And we'll put some down... I mean, do you want to put them in the middle, actually? Do you want to put them in the middle or around the edges? And then have the middle as a larger sort of playing space. Let's have them like that. So where the planter things are. We can have a table there and a table there. Then we'll pop a table there and a table there. And maybe one just there. And then we'll put another table. Hang on. This is going to look all sorts of, all sorts of ugly. If we do it like this, this is going to look terrible. Um, we'll put one there. And one there. Yeah, there we go. That looks a little bit weird, but it'll do the job. It's fine. It'll make it an outdoors common area, which is nice. Um, somebody's task is out of reach. Oh, they've got themselves stuck. <laughs> they've got themselves trapped. I'm not dismantling the fountain. You're just going to have to remain trapped forever, Eve. I'm, I apologise, but it's your own silly fault. I'm sure they'll work their way out eventually at some point soon. Right, there we go. So lots of chairs and tables and things in there. That is lovely. Eve is trapped behind a fountain. That's a problem of your own making. Sort it out. There's plenty of room for you to get out of there. Look, that's a tree. Just walk round. The tree isn't even that big. Okay, fine. Well, there we go. We'll see if she ever escapes. Okay, so with the common area done up here, we've still got 26 grand left, thanks to all the grants that we've just been able to do. So let's sort out this toilet up here. Let's make sure that this toilet is now sort of, you know, fully provisioned with sinks and toilet cubicles and what have you. So, uh, yeah, we'll have a bit of this. So uh, let's go to there and go down to toilet. So the sinks can go all the way across the side. That is absolutely fine. And then toilet cubicles, that one can go there. And then we've just got a big row of them across the back. Um, do you know what? Let's... Let's put, 
let's fill that gap in as well. So it can be like that. So if you want to walk through to these ones at the back, you kind of go through this little bit through the middle. But there you go. So that toilet is now going to be entirely sorted, which is wonderful. What we could do is we could put one of the hand sanitizer things over there as well. And one in here too, because why not? There we go. Are you still stuck? Yep, you're still stuck. We might have to fire you and re-employ you or something daft. <laughs> that's just very silly. Okay, well, there you go. You're trapped and, and that's your own fault. So there you go. And what I thought we could do is with the rest of the money, we could start working on this library project here because we've had this planned for, what, several years of the school. For several years, this has been sitting here. So I think maybe we start looking at trying to get some of this in place. Even if we just get the outside wall area done. We can put a door in here, maybe get some flooring down for 20 grand. Maybe that's what we could do. So let's see what we can do with the walls of this place. So the stone walls are going to have to come all the way down. Yeah, this is going to be monstrously expensive, isn't it? Okay, fine. So we'll get that up there. Yep, the builder is still stuck. That's absolutely fine. There you go. So the walls are in. Uh, yeah, she, she'll just have to get out on her own accord. It's fine. This is going to keep coming up, everybody. I apologise that Eve Dizelle is very silly and has got herself trapped, but there we go. So, yeah, so the builders can come down and work on all these wall sections, and then at least that's done. At least we've got that bit done. And then I would like to then try and sort out at least one bit of... Like one library area in here. I kind of want to make it look like it's supposed to look. Because it's not going to have this floor. It's not going to have this flooring. I've got an idea for our Fancy Pants library. And it's not going to have that floor. Do you know what? Yeah, let's sort that out. Let's knock this bit down. We'll knock down the existing library. And we'll put in the new library. We'll sort of put in one of the fancy new libraries. And we'll kind of try and work out what this whole bit is going to look like. Also, we need to decide what these rooms down here are going to be. Because we've got these two little rooms at the bottom here. One was going to be a common area, which could be quite handy. I mean, it's not a very big common area, but even one small common area is probably okay. So I think we'll have a common area and then another toilet, perhaps. Just so if you're down here working, you don't have to go all the way up there to the loo. You can just nip over here to the toilet. I think that's probably a good idea. And if this is a common area, we can also put in a few vending machines and things and what have you. So yeah, I think we'll have that. Apart from the day has just ended, come on, next building day, roll round. So there we go. So this is a little bit misleading because we're in the build phase. So that there, that can be a toilet. And then over here, this can just be a common area. Although I think we have that open and have doors to the library just there. So let's have that. So let's have a double door going into the library. And we'll have it so you can push them and sort of fling the doors open and go in all dramatic like that. So there we go. So that can be them going in there. And then what we'll do is we shall take out the blueprinted bits for just here because we don't need them on anymore. And then we need a door into the loo. And again, we'll have a double door going into the loo. We'll put it at the top, perhaps, like that. That'll do. And then the builders can all come back in. Is Thingamabob still stuck? Uh -huh. She's stuck. Yeah, I wasn't sure if she was stuck or dead, but there we go. Do you know what? We'll take the tree down for goodness sake. We'll take the tree down, that will let you out, and then we'll put the tree back in. Come on, there we go. Right, well done. You can get out, you fool. Uh, and now, are you just going to get stuck again, though, as soon as we put a tree down? <laughs> are you going to get trapped again? Because I would like one of those trees just there, because it's lovely and you know, symmetrical and stuff. But are they going to get stuck? I imagine they'll get stuck. Do you know what? We'll see what happens when they come down here. There we go. Right, so that stuff is in, apart from the door. Have they put that door in? No, they decide to ignore that door. Okay, fine. Um, where are they going? Oh, they're going for they're going for coffee. Okay, right. I can't blame them. Caffeine is good. Right now, let's sort this whole bit out here. So we don't want these walls in at all. So this is going to just all come down. Just demolish all of this stuff, please. Annihilate, destroy, and that path bit as well. So get rid of all of that. Destroy this bit here, please, and all of the stuff inside as well. Now, does that take down all of the? Chairs and things? I'm not entirely sure. Whether it's just the building structures, I do not know. Um, but you know what? We'll dismantle all of the objects anyway, just to give them lots and lots to do. So we'll wait for them to finish this job. And whilst they remove the final tables and chairs, we're going to have some single doors going into the library. So one there and one there, because that's where the gaps are between the classrooms, and that makes sense. And then we just need to rejig this bit outside. So this is quite a big 
quite a big overhaul this. It's quite a big project going on. So, and we've got quite a bit of money back from dismantling all that stuff, which is quite nice. So, uh, yeah, let's go to build. Let's go to outdoors. So we will have ourselves the paver floor going to just there and to just there, please. And then we'll replace the paper floor down here with grass. So if we can get that done, that would be lovely as well. And then we need to remove this double door. So get rid of that door. So destroy that, please. Thank you very much. Have you put the other door in yet? No, I don't know why. They they just forget things sometimes. They're like me. They just forget what they're supposed to be doing. Uh, right, turn that round. Double door, excitingly going in there. Then we want to get ourselves the final bits of wall to go just there just wall you in that's absolutely fine okay so there we go so now we've got the proper ways in to our fancy library so now we want to make sure that we can put flooring down now to put flooring down in this entire area is going to be utterly absolutely extortionate it's going to be a bajillion pounds um so let's have a look now i thought because it's a library and it's fancy pants we, we don't want any normal stuff we don't want carpets we don't want any of that I think, let's go for marble. Now, weird enough, a marble floor is no more expensive than some gravel. I don't understand, but there we go. So if we were to zone out this entire thing, how much would that cost? 13,300 to get the entire floor of the inside of there done. It, is it worth doing that right now? I think it might be. I quite like the idea of just getting that done. And that leaves us with a little bit of money left to get one of the library rooms set up which is fine. And then we can work on building on this bit at the bottom here. We can turn that into a toilet and we can turn that into a common area and stuff like that. Then we can put a door in and that whole bit will look a little bit more complete. This does need doing. Do you know what? We've got the money for it. Let's just go for it. Yay! Massive building project underway. Okay, we'll remove that library zone for now. Um, okay, this is going to take them ages. This is going to take them an absolute age to get this sorted. So I shall sit back. I shall have a cup of tea. And of course, it's the it's the build phase as well. So nothing is going to happen. We're not going to get random events popping up. So we're just going to have to just sit and wait for them to do all this work. Which, yes, the speed they're going, and there's only three of them, might take a little while. Do you know what? Whilst they are doing that, we could zone out a library area, couldn't we? We could actually get all the objects and things in just to see if we can actually afford this. So let's go to a zone and let's get a library. Let's zone that area out like that as a library area. So all it needs is weird enough three chairs, a table, a teacher's table and a bookshelf. Now bookshelves, I think, are the important thing here because I think a library needs lots of bookshelves. Otherwise, that's just a bit weird. So do we have like a big row of bookshelves down there, which is kind of what I would like. In fact, what if we did it, what if we did it that way round? So a load of bookshelves like that, and then turn it round like that, and had a load of bookshelves going up like that. And then we could have all the teacher tables and all the actual tables over here. So we'd have a load of books down the middle. So we could have like a core of books down the center. Or do we put a load of, a load of the tables down there like that? So we can get ourselves, not tables, bookshelves. One, two, three, four, five bookshelves across there, which I think, yeah, that's good. That's good for a library. Five bookshelves is, is good for a start. Let's move time on nice and quick. And then, yeah, then can we get enough tables in for 24 students, however? So that's, um, yeah, how many is that? So that's four, eight. That's the end of the day. <laughs> Please hold, hold the line callers. That's now gonna go all sorts of weird. So, um, so four, eight, 16, uh, 20, 24. So that's enough for all of the students to sit. Okay, so we could do that. So if we place that in, that's going to be enough for 24 students, which is how many they're supposed to be in a class, which is fine. And that's how many we've got this year. So 24 in each class. And then we need a teacher table. Um, so they're going to sit, I don't know, over there, possibly, maybe just there. Looks like that's a bit of a weird placement, isn't it? And then we could get some more bookshelves. Because I feel like the bookshelves are the key. They're the, they're the important bit of a library. What if we did that? So I had four more bookshelves there and then have the teacher table sort of down in this corner here. How about that? Okay, well, there we go. It's going to take an absolute age for them to get this done. Plus, they've decided that this tile does not need to be marbleized. This tile just needs to be earth. Okay, fine, right. So we'll wait till they've done all of this and we'll see if that just looks good or if it just looks really awful. 
So much time has passed, but we do now have a great big library room with a marble floor because la dee da, it's all very fancy pants. And this is what the library area will look like. And I think that looks okay. Row of bookshelves with books, very important for a library. Then a big long load of tables and chairs here. So people can sit here, they can go around and walk about and stuff. Maybe, maybe it might be worth bringing that down to the bottom. So remove all of those and push them down one which is a bit of a fiddle, but that's fine. That means there's a little bit of a path across the top. So if you're sat here and you want to go to that book just there, you don't have to go <sighs> da, 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 all the way down across there. You can just walk across the top. So maybe that's what we'll do. And then a row of uh, bookshelves just here and then the teacher table down at the bottom, which I think is absolutely fine. I'm, I'm quite happy with that. I am very happy with that. And it's just zoomed in for no reason. There we go. So yeah, so what we'll do is we'll move those things down a little bit. Let's get rid of those because I think they will look better shifty down one. It's a shame we can't just move things about. Do you know what? Do you know what? Hang on, hang on, hang on. Uh, belay the order of that, thank you very much. Delay the order of that. D right, dismantle that and... Hang on, dismantle that chair. The other chairs can stay in, of course. I only want to move the tables, so it's not quite as bad as all that. So there we go. So do that like that. Take out that table and that table, and then... The tables go sideways, so one, two, three, four, and five. So there we go, so do that. So the tables go back in, it now becomes a valid library again. And then we've got a little gap at the top where people can walk around. This area here looks a little bit empty. Can we do something with bookshelves here? Can they have sort of facing? Oh, oh, hang on, yes, they can. Oh, that's lovely. Yeah, we'll have three bookshelves like that. No point having a fourth because then no one can get into that bit. But yeah, let's do that. So it looks even more like a library. You can go down into the, the sort of, you know, between the bookshelves and try and find things. Yes, okay, that's very good. And then we've got a little gap over here and a gap next to the teacher table as well. I feel like we need to put something in there. So how about, how about we put a trash can over there because we can never have too many of those. And then can we get a plant? Just put a little plant next to the desk just there. There we go. That is... That is beautiful. I like that. That is very, very good. I like the way the teacher is just sat there. Trinidad Mwe, the brilliantly named Trinidad Mwe, is, is just doing some teaching. He's teaching the potted plant <laughs> all about books. But yeah, there we go. That looks great. I'm very happy with that. We don't have much money left now, so I don't think we can do anything else. I've kind of burned through all of the cash on putting a gigantic marble floor, which I've just noticed they still haven't finished properly. Folks, I had to reissue the order to do that bit there. Come on now, come on, one little square. Let, let's get that done. Let's get the floor done properly, please. Because we know the students will somehow walk on that and trapes mud everywhere. In you come and bosh. Okay, that looks very, very good. Um, I'm actually thinking about it. We are gonna want a uh, marble floor just there and just there and probably just there as well. Just so as you come in, you've got marble flooring to walk on because yeah, it's fancy. Uh, right, get rid of that. Get rid of all of the planning stuff for just there. Okay, there we go. It is it is all sorted. So I think now let's start the school year. So let's begin year six. And of course we are taking in our 10 truants, wasn't it? We're taking in 10 truants, which is interesting. And then, yeah, do we try and get this done this year? Or do we leave the money and just do some more research stuff? Maybe try and build some more of these, get the electric kind of research stuff done. Maybe we look at that. I don't know. Let's start the school year. Let's see what happens because we will be given a massive pile of money when we begin. So here we go. Check the admissions. Yep, 48 split across the two classes. Start the school year. Okay, here we go. So already we are three minutes into day one and we've got just short of 20 grand, which is brilliant. We're earning 11,112 monies per day, which is also brilliant. I'm very happy with that. Now, what we are going to do is first, we're going to go and look at the classrooms and we're just going to go and make sure that they're all the right size. And they're not. It's it's a weird. I don't know why they're, they kind of max out one classroom and then don't sort of uh, do it properly with the others. So let's bring it down. So it's 24 in each classroom, please. Let's make sure we have 24 students in each of the classrooms because that affects the teaching. Because, yeah, look, the class, the students with the um, the 26 uh, students in, they get uh, they get a plus four bonus. Whereas the students within the classroom that have only got 22, they get plus eight, which is a little bit unfair when we can even it out. So, um, oh, hang on. What have I done there? Is that right? Yeah. So 24 class size for everybody. There we go. That makes more sense. So plus six teaching bonus for everybody. Very, very welcome indeed. OK, lovely. Right. So now do we want to do any research stuff now? I'm tempted just to get by land done and then we can see how that works. But also some microfiber mops might also be quite nice. 
Oh, the agony of choice. Um, I mean, our cleaning was very good last year. The cleaning was very good. We got an A on the cleaning, didn't we? So maybe we don't need those right now. Maybe we start investing in some other things. How about the electric rationing, actually? Decrease electricity costs by 20%. And again, the earlier we do this, the more benefit it will have the longer we play into the game. So yeah, let's get that done. And maybe we'll work our way through solar panels and wind turbines as well and get some more of those up here to try and generate some electric sort of savings as well. So we've got savings on money. Maybe we now go and get some savings on electricity. A smoker has been caught. They've literally come into the school and started smoking. Crikeys. Okay, right. Well, they've been caught at least. So right, let's send the smoker... No, they've not been caught. They've not yet been caught. Lies, game, lies. Um, there's some bullies that have not been caught, and there are some truants that have also not been caught. Okay, right, so there's quite a lot of troublemaking students here already. Of course, we got the 10 that we decided to have. Um, right, now, have they actually been caught? Because because that it said that they were caught last time, and it was all just lies. Um, no, because they're still down here under free. So they've not actually been caught. This is very, very silly. What we should do is, we should get ourselves, actually, because we said this, an extra monitor. Let's put an extra monitor in. They can just go around and do monitoring of stuff. Maybe, maybe we create ourselves a monitor route to go round here, round that area. Uh, where is monitor? That's janitor's monitor routing. Yeah, we don't have a monitor coming looking over here, really. So let's have a monitor doing this route. How many have we got? We've only got three monitors. So one is assigned to that slightly weird looking group, but okay, that's fine. Yes, we haven't got a monitor up here at all. So let's make sure that we have somebody doing the monitoring over here. So they can come through here, they can go there, they can sort of have a look in the loo, just make sure everyone's behaving. Um, go into the classrooms, bish, bash, bosh, down through here. Maybe you can have a little walk around the library area and then maybe finish your route down here perhaps so complete your route over in that outside common area there we go now yeah that only leaves one roaming monitor i'm not overly happy with that let's get another one get another monitor in there we go so that does bring down our daily monies and it does bring down the um the amount of money we've got because we've paid money to hire them but i think that's going to be quite good now see look here i would say you you there are a truant cristobal creation maybe because you're just stood in a corridor with nothing happening so this monitor here is likely to find you. Oh no, you just ran into a classroom. Oh, they're all, oh, okay, that was a bit confusing. Okay, fine, maybe they weren't truanting. Maybe they were just waiting? I don't know, <laughs> I'm not sure. Okay, has anyone been found yet? Uh, that, ah, that one's in detention, the smoker. Send the smoker to counseling. Let's send the truant over to counseling and the bullies have not been found yet. Okie dokie. Right, there we go. Electricity rationing is underway as well. We've still got 20 grand. We're going to earn 10 grand a day. There we go. Electric rationing is now done. We can do solar panel research. Yeah, do you know what? We'll get that done right now. Absolutely. So small savings by using solar energy. Not interested in small savings, though. Not interested in little savings. We want the big savings. So we'll get this done, and then we'll research wind turbines, and then we'll see if we can't get a wind turbine or two in as well. Oh, random event time though, random event. One of your former students returns with a donation. Okay, we've got ourselves 18 grand. So we don't really need an extra grand boost. Although, you know, it's not a bad thing, but I would rather have the 100 prestige. Let's get them to donate it to charity. Thank you very much, good alumni, former student. That is very welcome indeed. So 100% chance we get that done. Word spreads about your generosity of spirit. Aren't we nice? Yay for Cupboard College. Boo, down with the Intelligence Institute. They're clearly the baddies. Okay, solar panel research done. Let's get wind turbine research done. It will not be done before the end of the day. So that's fine. So the first day of year six, we'll just roll around with not really very much going on but lots of stuff going on behind the scenes. We've saved money on our electric, so we've got 20% off that. And we are paying a little bit in electricity. We're not paying loads, but we're paying a little bit. And we pay way more in water. We pay so much in water bills. And of course, if I add all those toilets and things in, one of those is breaking, actually. Hang on, repair that. Um, so yeah, we've, we've built all these extra ones here. So now all of these water pumps up here are not quite covering our water costs anymore. Not quite doing it, but that's fine. That's fine. We can we can work on that. We can put some more of those things in as well. Maybe we'll treat ourselves. On day two, once wind turbine research is done, we'll put some wind turbines in, we'll put some motorised pumps in, and we shall save ourselves a bit of cash in the long run. 
And wind turbine research is done, which is lovely. And we just need to wait a few more minutes for us to get our hands on another 10 grand. And boom, there we go. So right, 23 grand we now have to play with. And a student is confessing their love. Oh, that's nice. You're doing it literally the instant you enter kind of school grounds. Crikey. What is all, what are they called complaining about there? What's all that? What's all this stuff here? It looks like they can't get access to something. Why can they not get access to stuff? That's a bit weird. They've all got those signs over their heads and now they've stopped. Maybe it's just when they actually enter the zone that's above their heads. That's a bit strange. Okay, here we go. Okay, right, hang on. Is this gonna work? Let's watch this. Let's just see if it actually works and... Oh dear. Oh no. Oh, it's all gone wrong. Jonah, Turton, Shizu, Butram. They're, they're, yeah, that, that didn't go well. We'll leave you to sort that out. It's a sad time. It's okay. It'll, it'll get better. Okay, let's build some more of these things then. So we'll have a couple of extra pumps, I think, because they're quite useful. They were in, where were they? Objects? Um, yeah, I can't remember where they were now. Hang on, where, where were they? Were they, for, uh, no, pump, per, uh, uh, motorized pump, there we go. So put a couple of those in, just to bring some of the cost down. Let's put three in actually. And then now, they must be in here somewhere. Where are they gonna be? Where are these things going to be? Uh, utilities, there we go. And then, right, so now we can get a solar panel, which is, uh, electricity cost is minus 17 a day for harnessing the power of the sun. Um, and, oh, excess electricity cannot be sold until cell to the grid has been researched. Oh, oh, so excess water can't be sold, but excess power can be, oh, that's interesting. And a wind turbine is minus 50 per day. Oh, do you know what? Let's get a few of these in. Oh, these are big. Oh, these are significantly bigger than I was expecting. Okay, right, so those things are little. These things are quite big. Do you know what? Let's build a whole load of them across the bottom here. There we go. So that should be 50 days, so 100, 200. So we should save 300 on our electricity. At the minute, that's very good. That means we're going to be paying hardly anything on the electric. I love the way that these guys just go along and build a little wind turbine. I mean, the, aren't wind turbines quite hard to build, I would have thought. But there we go, look. They actually spin round as well. <laughs> now, we make ourselves 300 out of that. So we only pay 49 in electric, and we pay, what, 424 in water. That's very good. That is great, because otherwise we'd be paying an absolute fortune. We'd be paying 2,000. Yeah, we'd be paying loads of money for those things. Okay, there we go. That is wonderful. I'm very glad we've got that done. Okay, and we've still got quite a bit of money left. In fact, the money we've got and the money we earn each day, it's almost exactly the same, which is a bit weird. And I think that is an excellent point to finish up for now because yeah, we've got ourselves some more facilities in, earning us a little bit more money. We've got the giant library thing done. I think next we need to sort out these rooms just here. What do we want with these rooms just here? And then I do think we need another cafeteria somewhere. I think we do need to get another cafeteria in. And I also think we do need the science rooms. So we might need to lay out another, so you know, not lay out properly like this, but lay out in terms of plans, lay out another building over here with the blueprint tool, and then just see what we can do with this. So get, again, get a classroom set up. So four classrooms, a bathroom, a common area, sort of down here, and then have science rooms and maths rooms, a little bit like this here, but try and repeat that just there. Although it does look like there's significantly less space down here than there is up there. But I think that's what we need to do next time because yeah, one of our long overdue things here is computational power. So experimentation and computer lab are things that we haven't got. And I think they are, they're required now because we've got every single other room. We've got music and art and AV rooms and libraries and everything else. So yeah, I feel like those two rooms need to be represented in the school. So we will have a look at that next time out, I think. But yeah, we'll finish up for the moment. Hopefully you are still enjoying this. If you are, then please do leave a like. That would be most marvellous indeed. And also, if you are not already, then please do subscribe to keep up to date with how we get on here next time out in Academia School Simulator. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard, and I will see you next time. Move out of the way, friend. I'm going to completely ignore you and do some comment moderating. <laughs> Kung Fu Croquet. Maria, you've broken my heart. There you go, some more flowers that I stored on the back of my pants. Lovely, there we go. As you can see, I'm having the wildest of times. Enormous banana mask. <laughs>